YouTube, you already know, Big Lou tapping in one more again, well, what it do, Big Lou NMZ on two, baby, baby, bye so check it out, man, it seems like, I mean, if you can tell from that thumbnail, obviously you guys know a little something, something about a little something, something, then you know that's the, um, the VP hopeful on the dump Vance ticket, right, that's J.D. Vance, who's changed his name like three times. Oh, uh, but every day we're finding out more and more things about this dude. Old clips keep resurfacing, resurfacing, and the other person in the in the in the in the in the thumbnail is none other than the most decorated gymnastic American in history, Simone Biles. So I got to see Simone Biles in 2016 Olympics. That was my last prison term that I had did. I ended up coming out in the su next summer of 2017. I've been out since. No violations. I haven't been seen inside of a jail cell. Thank God. And that it keeps continuing that way. But what I'm getting to is that I got to uh, enjoy seeing the Olympics, the Summer Olympics in 2016. So I got to see the whole Olympic team, uh, the gymnastics team. Um, I remember back in, in um, what was that, 96, the 96 Olympics in Atlanta. Um, I watched that one, um, but 2016, you know, that Biles, you had Hernandez, you know, you had, they had a team there, uh, Douglas. Um, I can't think of the other lady that's been on the team for a few years too. Um, anyways, um, you know, United States is always, especially in this era, uh, uh, of, you know, they, for a while now, I mean, they've had good teams, uh, here and there too in the past, but with Biles, Simone Biles, I mean, it's just off the chain, right? She's, she's next level uh you know and you got different countries chasing us i'm not really sure what countries are strong in the uh, gymnastics i can't remember i think i'm pretty sure russia but in 2016 i believe they were they were they were uh, exempt all russians were exempt from fight uh from performing in the olympics that year i believe it was 20, uh, 2016 uh might have been 2020 but i no, we didn't have no olympics 2020 i think they did in 2021 um Actually, I'm not sure about that. I know because of the COVID, it, it, it messed up, uh, you know, that. But anyways, to the point now, you know, this guy keeps, I mean, like I said, every day it seems like, or every other day, it seems like something else is resurfacing, resurfacing from this guy's past, right? From different, you know, posts, different um, things he's posted on, you know, Twitter, or whatever, Facebook, uh, you know, um, whatever he's. Instagram, I don't know. I don't know what he uses. I, I know he owns, I think he's part owner of Rumble. I'm not really sure what Rumble is. I know it's it's something like Patreon kind of, where you're allowed to get away with a lot more, uh, you know, it's not so, um, how would you say it? You know, it's not so much discreet. You know, it's more open where you can show more graphic stuff, speak more graphic, I guess, from my understanding. Um, not a fan, not interested, to tell you the truth, um, to go on to that site. Um, but what I was saying is this guy, you know, since he made some comments yesterday about, you know, uh, uh, Kamala Harris and that she's a phony and she's a, she don't know who she is. I mean, this dude really got the nerve to talk like that. He's, this guy's going to change his name like three times. I thought it was just once and, you know, whatever his name was and he changed it once. Uh, from my understanding, he's changed it two or three times. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it almost would have been um, John Donald, uh, uh, John Donald and then whatever his real last name was. That was his first, uh, at some point, John was his first name. Donald was his middle name. Because I heard somebody makes, make a little comment about it. It would have been Donald Donald John, and then he would have been John Donald. <laughs> so anyways, funny, some funny shit. Anyways, like I said, some surfing, something's resurfacing every day from this guy's comments, you know, from 15, from 14, 15, 16, 17. Remember, he's a never Trump guy. I'm a never Trump guy. They made a little remix out of that. I'm a never Trump guy. I'm a ne I'm gonna try to see if I can find it and post it. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm not real fancy here at this channel at what it do with Big Lou. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, that's shots out to Raul from uh, QBNK. You know, he says he t he tells people when I pop up in his chat, he, he he tells people come come check me out. He goes he ain't fancy, but when he pushes play, uh, he 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 keeps it real, one hundred, right? So, shots out to Raul. And uh, if you guys own bullies. Or not even if you own bullies, just dogs in general. He's got a lot of uh, D DYIs, not DEIs, but DIY do-it-yourself remedies for your dogs for almost everything. Um, so, anyways, back to this. So this guy has some 
you know, he has some, he has something to say about Simone Biles not deciding to drop out of the Tokyo Olympics, 2021 Olympics due to her mental health. She wanted to take care, you know, handle what, what was going on with her mental health. Right. Which, I mean, that should have been, that shouldn't have been talked down on. That should have been applauded because most people will be in denial, right? I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem, you know, and they could be whatever it is, you know, and it's obviously shown as an issue to the family and friends. And, and, and it's, it's, it's like an elephant in the room, so to speak. Right. And for this clown to come out there and, you know, making all his stupid statements he's made after, well, I mean, what does he think? He thinks because he lost a little weight in his face and he's, and he grew a beard and he's got a little gray over here. Um, that he's just this wise ass dude has been around for ages and he just knows what's happening. Right. Because he's a father of three now, you know, they're all young kids. Right. I mean, good, and that's good for him, but you know, this dude has no, no backbone. He has no, I mean, not, you know, not, maybe not so much backbone. He has no cojones. He, he don't, he don't stand for shit. And like I've been saying about people like Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, Lindsey Graham, Mitch McConnell, you know, all these people, they don't have, they, 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 they ain't, they let Trump go at them, talk shit about their family, you know, then outright lies and, and, and they don't even back their family up. So how, if they don't back their family up, what the heck makes you believe they're going to go back their friend, their, uh, the, the, the people they serve in their constituents or their state. It ain't happening, Kevin. Same thing like this dude, Nick Fuentes is talking shit about his wife because she's Indian, you know? She's not a Christian woman, and, and you know, and his kids are named Vivek, and two of them got Hindu names. And how can we expect this guy to speak out for the white, the right race? And you know, like what the fuck? And this dude's last name is Fuentes. You know, what I'm saying you can't make this shit up. Now I know, like I've said this before in another video, he's gonna say, "Oh, well, I'm Spanish. I'm a Spanish descent. That's why my last name is Fuentes." Which all our last names come from, majority of them come from Spain, right? But there are some that have. Uh, Sicilian last names, Italian last names, Portuguese last names, German last names, uh, Jewish last names, right? Um, th th there is that. Just one day, if you guys are, you know, going through the channels and, and one of the soap operas come on in the Spanish channel, which are called novelas, uh, just watch to see the credits at the end and see all the last names that ain't Spanish. They're German or they're, you know what I'm saying, they're Jewish. Um, you know what I mean? And you'll, you, that's the best way to recognize it right there. So anyways, this guy... Goes after uh, Biles, right? So he said, J.D. Vance says Simone Biles should have been, sh uh, sh shouldn't be praised for quitting Tokyo Olympics in poorly aged resurfaced clip, right? So let's just get to it, right? An old interview clip during uh, featuring J.D. Vance has resurfaced shortly after Simone Biles made history at the Paris 2024 Olympics in which the potential vice president, critic vice president criticized the media's response towards her withdrawal from the Tokyo Games on Tuesday, July 30th, uh, excuse me, J Tuesday, July 31st, the 27 year old became the most decorated gymnast in American history after women, after the women's U S gymnastics team scored gold during the all around finals, the victory marked a comeback for Biles who withdrew from the last summer Olympics in 2021 due to mental health. Following her withdrawal from the competition, Vance appeared on Fox news outnumbered in July 2021, where he called out the media for supporting Biles during her weakest moment. That, I mean, that, you hear how stupid that sounds? For supporting an American, a fellow American who is a badass gymnast who brings great honor to this country for what they are about, right? Their high-tech ability to flip this way, that way, and run hella fast across the mat and, you know, and somersault and, and you know, all that shit. And he's talking shit that the media should not have supported her in her weakest moments. I mean, this dude's got it. This dude's got issues. Really, with some real issues here. It's understandable that she was going through an incredible amount of pressure. The Ohio senator said at the time. What I find so weird about this, and it reflects on the media more than it does on Simone Biles, is that we've tried to turn a very tragic moment, Simone Biles quitting the Olympic team, into that this act of her heroism. And I think it's and I think it reflects pretty poorly on our sort of therapeutic society that we try to praise people, not for moments of strength, not for moments of heroism, but for their weakest moments. Now, OK. Not for moments of strength, not for moments of heroism, but for their 
but for their weakest moments. Okay, so, oh man. Okay, so, man, this, it, it, man, this, this, it's, it's very, uh. Okay, so if somebody, like I said, if somebody is having going through something, and they decide to take their self out of a big time competition, which they've been kicking ass the last. Uh, you know all the all the uh, 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 the Olympics that she's been in thus far, and the games that she's been in, and any other international competition she's been in. Right, she's been kicking ass, right? But if she tells her family in the U.S. team that you know what, I'm gonna step down, I'm gonna step off for this 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 competition. I'm having issues. I need to take care of me. Um, if I don't get right, then it's gonna be a further problem in the future. I don't understand how that's considered. Yeah, it's a weak moment, but. I, to say it's not a, a moment of strength, I mean, to tell yourself and your fans and everybody else, your coaching staff and everybody else that you're going, you're going to hang it up to get some help, right? Some help you need. If it's just time off, you need to rest your mind, whatever it is, right? But to say that uh, the media is praising her for this dude, this dude is something else, man. This dude is something else, and he, and <laughs> he, what 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 happened to the guy that said I'm not I'm I'm, I'm a never Trumper guy, and he's just a, a you know, he gave a, a, a range of what this guy what is uh, Trump is. He said he's from this to a possible America's Hitler, right? Something else, right? Okay, Vance continued. Being an athlete at this at that level is incredibly tough. Exactly, exactly. More to the point is, more to the point what I just said. If you can come to the conclusion that you need to step away to take care of yourself further so that you can come back and kick more ass, which she's obviously doing, then that's the the route to go. And when you're at that level and you can tell yourself that and and not be in denial, you know what I'm saying? Where you're listening to whoever's giving you the advice or you finally came to the conclusion on your own, that's 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 that's, that's the hell of a, a, a hell of a decision, right? So, I don't know what this dude's talking about. And uh, a normal response in this moment would be to say it's a shame it's just a shame that she's going through this. It's a shame that she's that she quit, but instead, what our press has done, I think, is turn into this into this weird therapeutic moment. Let's praise her for doing this, and I think that's really where the problem herein lies. So, okay, just what, what if the what if the media did do that? Oh, she she didn't, you know, she shouldn't have quit. She's a, a quitter. Uh, she disappointed our whole nation. Um, uh, you know, her placement is nowhere near on that scale. So now she's gonna what? Feel guilty and. You know, say maybe not even get the help she needs. Maybe she gets worse in her and whatever she's going through. You know what I'm saying? This dude's a clown, man. Straight clown. Let's see. In 2021, Biles pulled out the women's all around gymnastic competition to focus on her mental health after suffering from a condition known as the twisties. The phenomenon typically experienced by gym, the, the phenomenon typically experienced by gymnasts involves losing control midair and feeling unable to land the move creating a high-risk and dangerous situation. Bios has previously described the twisties as being lost in the air, likening the uncomfortable experience to being unable to drive while at the wheel in a car. However, that went away during Tuesday's all-around team final when Bios scored her eighth Olympic medal, becoming the most decorated gymnast in the U.S. and fifth most decorated female Olympic gymnast in the world. Damn, in the world. This isn't the first time that past comments made by Vance have resurfaced since he was selected as former President Trump's running mate in 2024 presidential election. The 39-year-old Republican politician sparked outrage after he described Vice President Kamala Harris as a childless cat lady during a 2021 interview with Fox News host Tucker Carlson. The hillbilly elegy author claimed that the U.S. was governed by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they have made and so they want to make the rest of the country miserable too what a fucking what a dope what a dodo bird man you know they say dodo birds are extinct but that's a damn lie because the top of the ticket for the gop there's two of them right there donald dump and jd vance two carnival clowns and they're not gonna add a whole bunch of other ones to it too jim jordan jim comer paul gosar you know what i'm saying uh 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 Chip Roy, uh, Laura Bobert, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Paulina, Lu Luna Paulina, whatever her name is. There's a whole bunch of them. 
Look at Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, AOC, the entire future of the Democrats is controlled by people without children, man said. How does it make any sense we've turned our country over to people who don't really have a direct stake in it? That's a but that's a that's such an ignorant comment to make because some people are step parents like Kamala Harris. Some people haven't found, you know wanted to make sure they got their career going and they were stable at as their as their career went on where they owned their own home. You know, they had a nice job coming in. They were able to have money saved because having a kid is expensive, right? Um, maybe they lost a child at, uh, at a young age. Maybe maybe, maybe a child got hit, uh, died in a, in a tragic accident or something, and they never had another baby again after that. Um, maybe they just have – they can't get pregnant, so they need – they got to turn to IVF, and that's being attacked. So it's – this dude is, 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 is an, a dodo bird, straight dodo bird, despite being selected as Trump's running mate. Another old video showed Vance admitting that there was that there were definitely some people who voted for Trump in 16 for racist reasons. Meanwhile, resurfaced emails recently revealed that Vance once privately considered Trump a demagogue, a disaster, and a morally reprehensible um, a morally reprehensible human being. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, how does he take all that back? I mean, to talk about Kamala Harris is Kamala Harris is a chameleon. This shit's so stupid too. They keep saying, "Oh, well, when she won the Senate, she, she, you know, they posted the thing saying the first uh, uh, so- Southern South Indian or South or the first Indian Asian or Asian Indian. I'm not sure how it goes first um, to be selected to the Senate. Well, of course that I mean that's true. The reason why I don't say the first black woman because she wasn't the first black woman, and if she was, then it would have said the first black, just like when she made a. Uh, uh, I mean, if she would have became, if she, there wasn't a, there's been many black senators over the years women if there wasn't uh, uh one before her then it, she would have been the first black uh senator and the first uh I- indian asian senator you know what i'm saying it's that simple they said but but they they want to play these games these dei games right where it's all it's all it's all uh you can't say totally racist but it's 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 racist it's sexist it's mon- mon- what is that i can't say that word right but you know, it's not DEI is not just for black folks. It's not you know, it's for anybody that ain't that that is of color. So a lot Latino people, black folks, Asian, Native American, um, you know, all that, all those different that the people of color, pretty much, right? But also women, women getting jobs like the Secret Service, even though they're trying to throw this off on them now. Um, you know, the, the bridge over there and the Keys Bridge over there in in, in uh, Maryland. Oh, that was a DEI. They don't know nothing about what happened, but they're already throwing it out there, DEI. You know, you got Dodo and other clowns like Charlie Kirk talking about, oh, if it's a if I see a black pilot, I gotta I gotta question if he's if he's qualified. That's crazy. And the DEI a percentage of DEI hires is really, really small, minute. And you know, and then here they are whining about that. Stephen Miller wants to, you know, sue the NFL because the NFL has a rule in place that uh, it, uh any franchise looking for a new head coach have to have to interview two black coaches you know what i'm saying i mean it didn't say they have to hire him on the coaching staff but they have to interview two i mean but he's going to try to sue over that you know what i'm saying it's it's ridiculous man it's 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 cry baby cry baby cry baby what about isn't bullshit all the time it's it's old people and people are getting old tired of this donald dump the only reason the only ones that are strictly with him are of course his base and then and even a lot of them he lost after uh, January 6th. And the ones that have maybe switched over because they said Biden was too old, a lot of them already came back over to the blue side because Kamala Harris was a new fresh, uh, fresh, fresh, uh, fresh, new breath of fresh air, right, in the in the race. And or because they don't know really what's really going on because they see these little clips from Fox News and, you know, and, and things like that. So they believe it. And the Fox News, speaking of Fox News, you got the Sean Hannity always crying and complaining and whining. And the nerve of this guy to talk about CNN and MSNBC uh, and ABC, you know, their their correspondence not being professional. You got the whole freaking Fox damn near, except for Tarlyle and Juan Williams that are just hanging off Donald Dump's wrinkled fucking cojones, right? It's, it's insane, right? And he, he want to keep talking about, oh, they got Trump deranged syndrome. But it's like, this dude's had Obama deranged syndrome from the beginning. And then Biden deranged syndrome. At the same time, Obama deranged syndrome. And then when Biden became president, it was straight Biden uh, syndrome. 
deranged syndrome. Now it's Kamala Harris deranged syndrome. So it don't matter who's the Democratic nominee or representative. He's going to have deranged syndrome for him. But he whines. He just whines and complains. Poor us. Poor me. It's, it's crazy. All of them do it. Don Baggiano, whatever his name is. Uh, that Joe, I can't think of his name. Uh, Joe something. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Even Michael Francis' ass. Like, he, he, he don't keep shit real. He's full of shit, too. You know what I'm saying? He wants to get all mad because somebody in his house, his house took a pill that had fentanyl in it. Like that shit was coming in with Donald Dump was president. You know what I'm saying? It's like don't 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 try to just say it's all on him. You know what I'm saying? It, like it's just ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous, and they got this shit twisted with this uh, uh, religion. Really, it's got it really twisted. You got these people speaking. Oh yeah, I said this in the Bible that you know American families. Uh, the Bible they don't say shit about America in the Bible. It's got stories that you can, you know, that you can, uh, you can put this and that towards it. You know what I'm saying? They got multiple stories that it's like replaying, but this is not American religion. It's, it's from the Middle East, right? From Jerusalem, from 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 Africa, then to Jerusalem, right? To uh, uh, Israel. I mean, excuse me. So, you know, it's just false. It's all false shit. False narratives. False agendas. False beliefs. It's it's false. Uh, 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 religion beliefs pushing a wrong the wrong message you know what i'm saying it's because i don't hear i don't hear these people talking about hey, it's all full, pure hate you know what i'm saying pure hate you know what i'm saying and then they'll be right there on the channel talking about oh biden is the most defi- the, the divisive president in history he's like what are you talking about this dude knew how to reach across the aisle while he was in the senate to get things passed he did it as president got a lot of things bipartisan passed right but your guy's guy don't even want to. He didn't want to even uh, uh, unite the Republican Party when when Haley was. She already tapped out, but yet she was the next couple of uh, the next couple uh, election, not elections, but the next couple. Um, I'm not sure what you call it. She got like 15 percent, 16 percent, 20 percent of the votes, right? Which was like 500 thousand votes, something like that. And he was like, what, "What are you gonna do about Nikki Haley votes? Oh, I'm not sure. We, we, I'm not sure we need them. I'm not sure we need more votes." So he's not even willing to unite the Republican Party, even though, oh yeah, the greatest R R R N C of ever. You know what I'm saying? And the thing, and then they're complaining now that, well, how come they're not giving him coverage still about getting shot? He took a bullet for democracy. He ain't take no bullet for democracy. He didn't take no bullet. Yeah, it was terrible what happened. They shot at him. They did. And I'm not, not gonna lie, but not gonna deny that. But no bullet hit him. A, a 223 or a 556 five, bullet, it would have took off it would have took off all, all his ear. What happened was he got hit with and he said there were no strap metal, there were no he got hit probably from a, 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 a glass, plastic, some type of metal that popped out. Could have been the shell casing. It could have been a lot of different things that 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 you know, he didn't have that much blood, man. That whole thing, his whole piece of ear would have been gone. You know what I'm saying? And and it would have been a lot worse than that. But it's all this funny shit, all this uh, keeping on the DL shit, right? The hospital don't even come out and say nothing. He don't even, they don't have a press conference. They don't have a, 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 a report release, nothing. And then when there's question about it, Ronnie Jackson comes out with his little, with, with the letterhead from the Congress with his name on there, you know, uh, congressman of Texas district, whatever it is, who he don't even have his medical license no more. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about, oh, it didn't, it didn't need stitches. Didn't need stitches, but a bullet ripped his ear, huh? tore a part of his ear off, and he don't need stitches. You know what I'm saying? This is the same clown that said Trump would live to 200, right? It's, 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 it's insane. This dude's nuts, man. It's nuts. You know what I'm saying? And they still call him an admiral. He's not an admiral no more. He got demoted to captain. They called him Mr. Feelgood, right? Mr. Candyman. He was prescribing all kinds of stuff while he was the White House doctor under Donald Dump. And keep in mind, he was the White House doctor under Obama also. So what happened? What does that tell you? That tells you that when a decent law-abiding citizen that was, um, excuse me, I shouldn't say citizen, law-abiding president, you know, for eight years, did things right. And then you had this fucking dodo bird that brought the uh, the respect of the of the White House way down when he took his ass up in there. Remember, he's the only president, the only president to get laughed at at the night at the United Nations. He got laughed at. Remember, he don't like to get laughed at. He said, right? Well, he was so embarrassed. He said, oh, I wasn't expecting that. 
So this dude's a straight. There's this whole party is is this is not the party that I remember. when I grew up when I started noticing politics. Ronald Reagan was there. I got, I know so many people that got their citizenship, not so many people, but a few different people got their citizenship under Reagan, right? This is not the same shit. This bullshit here, this MAGA bullshit, it's all straight hate, uh, racism, fascism, you know what I'm saying? But see, then all Donald Dump does is he gets up and says, they're racist, they're fascist, that's it. That's his, that's his, that's his call. That's his, you know, that's, that's how he goes back at them. Whatever they say, he just throws it back at him. He don't have no policy. They asked him at the NAB uh, and uh, the National uh, Association of Black Journalists. Matter of fact, for, for, uh, Harris Faulkner asked him what the, what his plan was for, you know, this and that. And all. He, what does he say? Inflation is killing us. Uh, the immigrants. He kept going to immigrants. Uh, and he took a black job. What's a black job, sir? Anybody with a job. It's anybody with a job. What the fuck? What's this dude talking about? He got no 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 sense of what he's even talking about. No filter on his mouth. Oh, all of a sudden now she she's she turned black. Like what what did what did she do? What what they have her on the on the on the on the service line? You know what I'm saying? On in the in the on the belts and, and they sent her through the uh the, the the spray booth. You know what I'm saying? At at um at Tesla. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Since since they keep putting all these Elon Musk AIs out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Joe Biden can't string two letters, uh, two cents together. Trump 2024. You know what I'm saying? They want to, and then that one says, oh, they want to say Trump, uh, de- uh, democracy is a threat to democracy. You damn right he's a threat to democracy. They said, he said too on another one, what did I do to democracy? What, what did you do to democracy? Motherfucker, you, 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 you incited a riot that turned into an insurrection, right? You denied and lied about you losing, right? You were involved in 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 you were involved in in a, a, a conspiracy to place fake electors and pose as the real electors in in capitals in Michigan, Arizona, you know, what I'm saying in Georgia, you know, what I'm saying where every uh, where the ones you haven't been indicted, you are an unnamed co-conspirator number one, and it seems like everybody's gonna go to jail, but you are you know they're at least gonna be uh, fighting these cases, right? Uh, it's crazy. I don't even know how you. It's 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 something else, man. I never. I never this, what, what's going on right now is something else, man. And then you got the Supreme Court. You know, you got Project Twenty Twenty Five. You know, I, I'm gonna come with another video with that. But now they pushed out the the pre, not the president, uh, the whatever whatever that title name what that guy has. Um. It's it's uh. You know they got rid of him. They, you know he's trying to distance himself because. He, you know, it's a, it's a very draconian old taking us way, 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 way back, and he knows it. But then he says that he he don't know nothing about it. He's never read it. But then he says some of it is very, very extreme, and some of it he be, he tr- believes in. So how did you not read it? And know that all that then? You know what I'm saying? How can you have 140 people from your old uh, from your old administration and campaign the last the last two times you ran for president and this time, uh, including six cabinet members, including four ambassadors. You know what I'm saying, and then other uh, mid-level policy advisors, and and uh, uh, you know, uh, there's some another name I can't think of right now. But anyways, you know, you got uh, uh, J.D. Vance, the president. Uh, what's his name? Um, Kevin Roberts, right? He's the president of uh, Lincoln Foundation or uh, Heritage Foundation, right? Who is might be a, a, a senior senior advisor in the White House if, if Trump gets in, right? He's the one that says that it, it, we're close to having a, a, a another civil war if the if the left uh, allows it to be bloodless. Um, you know his book. He just made a came out with a book called something about Washington burning, and J D Vance is writing the foreword and another section of the book. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why he was so happy that J.D. Vance got picked. He said it. That's his personal friend. So, of course, if they're pushing for each other and something happens to Trump, him being 78 years old, good chance that he could get sick. You know, he can die, you know, just get sick and lose his mind, right? Because I'm not making fun of it, but his father, I believe, had Alzheimer's or dementia. And I believe his brother, Robert, who was younger than him, had it too, who died a couple years ago when he was in the White House. So, um, you know, it's not like something far-fetched, right? It's what we've been hearing about Biden, right? So, 
you know, the thing, too, that gets me about all that is that, you know, this dummy's been saying all along that, you know, uh, that our country is a mess and that we're a third world country. But then if it were already that bad, why are you wishing that they, for the economy to uh, crash and, and all these different things to crash if, if, if it's already that bad? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It makes no sense, right? And now... Oh, they released, they got, they did these deals on getting these hostages back because, oh, the elections in three, uh, 95 days from now and, oh, the bad guys in the world were, you know, they gave back the hostages. So, because they, they know that Trump's coming back to the White House. Come on, man. Same reason, uh, four or five months ago, uh, the, the, the 401ks and all that was doing good too. And uh, not for, yeah, 401ks and the stocks has changed and everything was doing good because according to Donald Trump. They know he's coming back. So that's why everything's going up. Next day, they, uh, Trump announced J.D. Vance. And so everything goes up of records again. But yet he says at the at the uh, NABJ that the uh, nominee for vice president really ain't, don't mean much. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't want to take any attention off himself, even though he gave a long ass speech about J, uh, J.D. Vance. So J.D. Vance needs to figure out, needs to uh, shut his mouth. Mind his own business, like Governor Wall said, because this dude is digging himself in such a big, long, big ass hole, deep hole from old stuff. Not even so much new stuff from old stuff. And he's the one trying to be a chameleon and fit in, get in where he fits in. It ain't Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris always been black and Indian. But of course, if your mother raised you. I don't think her and her dad, they got split up, I think, when she was a little girl. So, of course, her mom's going to dress her in the, their culture, their culture, their cultural gowns, eat the food. You know what I'm saying? I mean, is that hard? Is it that hard for you? You simple minded old fuck you to, to understand that. That's why I want to know, Donald, are you, are you Scottish or are you German? And, but wait a minute. I thought you're a, a white guy though. Wait, Scottish, German. But nah, that don't make sense because you're white, right? Uh, wait, I don't know. I have to look it up. I got to Google it. I'm not sure. A little confusing, huh? Yeah. So, I mean, J.D. Vance, your your kids are Indian just like uh, Kamala, uh, Kamala Harris is. And then you're white. So your kids are half white, half Hindu or Hindi. Or, you know what I'm saying? So what, what's the issue there? I mean, you like having your family drugged through the mud like that? Uh where you don't even defend them. You know, when you're asked about your kids like that, instead of you saying something about it or your wife, you pivot to praise Donald Trump some more. Pfft, come on, man. You 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 need to get off that old man's nuts, man. They're wrinkled enough. You you're just slobbering all over him. You know what I'm saying? You're slobbering all over him. He's he, he's a germ germaphobe, remember? He's probably sleeping and your head's in his lap. Uh, I don't know. You know, because he can't seem to stay awake. How ironic is that? You go after Joe Biden, call him Sleepy Joe for all these years, even before he got voted as president. But yet you're the one that keeps getting caught falling asleep <laughs> at your trial at the RNC. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight, straight joke, straight clown, man. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and tap out on this one. It's, I didn't expect I was going to go 33 minutes, uh, but I started, you know, I'm really tired right now. I didn't sleep. Uh, I haven't slept, which I'm, I'm about to. Maybe get a little now, but I'm sweating so much. It's so hot right now. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and tap on out. Hopefully, I get a few hours sleep. And um, and I'll be back today with a video on probably uh, 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 Terrence Crawford. He's going up against the WBA uh, junior middleweight champion. And also, the WBO belt is also vacant. So if he wins this, he, he'll be a unified 154-pound champ. And that'll be another division he's adding to his already uh, magnificent uh, uh, resume. So, I mean, just think about that. If he wins this fight, he'll have two straps for this this division, right? He'll have to get the WBC and the IBF, and he'll be a three-time undisputed. And he's definitely got to hang it up after that because he'll be 40. I think he right now he's, what, 41-0, 41-0, 41-0. So, you figure after this fight and then two more fights for the if to get the other two belts, that's at least three fights or four fights. So that put him about like 45 and 0. Is he possibly going to go for a third undisputed, undisputed in a third division, which was, would be his fourth division 
world he'll be a world champion of four divisions, but it'll be a three time undisputed. And could he possibly go, be going for fifty one and zero as well? I mean, if, I mean, what if he does that? Uh, nobody can mess with him as far as. Uh, I mean, you could say who you know Floyd was a better boxer and Manny Pacquiao, whatever. But I'm saying as far as accolades wise, as far as hardware wise. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I don't think Mayweather's ever had more than two belts at one time in a, in a division. I could be wrong about that, but he uh, Mayweather has won a lot of titles too. He's got like four, I think I want to say twelve to fourteen major world titles. He's won, so you know he's up there. He's up there in five divisions. He's won titles in five divisions, so he's still up there. But I'm gonna pose a question in a video too. What's more impressive, Manny Pacquiao's eight divisions winning a title in eight divisions or Mayweather's 50 and 0. Um, it might be Mayweather's 50 and 0 because he's a five division world champion and then he's fought so many champions. Um, you know what I'm saying? And he's also uh, 51 and 0, 50 and 0, or 51 and 0, 50 and 0, five division world champion, and then he's fought many champions. The only one he's fought twice, though, so far has been uh, uh, Maidana and I think Ortiz that fought twice. That's it. He never really gave away a rematch. Uh, Pacquiao, on the other hand, four matches with Marquez. I think he had three with uh, uh, three with Morales and three with Barrera, I believe. Two with uh, Bradley. You know what I mean? So, um, I mean, yeah. I mean, we can go. Maybe me and Mike, me and Mike uh, D. Leonardo, we can maybe do that on a um, on a video. You know what I'm saying? Me with one, him with the other. Go, you know. Uh, debate on who's better because of this and because of whatever, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm gone. 36 minutes, 37 minutes by the time I tap out.